and for some reason there's an extra dot that's appeared between the two and the zero. <laughs> it doesn't look more like a... It doesn't look like a date. It looks more like a library code over there. Captain's log 2507-2013-1025. No, no, this is how that would go. Uh, well, good morning there, folks. It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Welcome along to Train Sim World 4. Your weekend, it may be coming to a close, but we have the perfect antidote for you. And we have a brand new route to play for you as well. So let's have to do, go to the trains at the new route, the Barn Strecker, Salzburg, Rosenheim. Now, you will notice there are four scenarios only. We get onto that uh, in the video because uh, it's awfully complicated. But we are not going to do I'm not a mechanic. We're going to do scenario number two, buckets of rain. The rain has arrived and important freight has been cleared to overtake you, share the rails and battle the weather. And we're going to be starting at the beautiful Salzburg Hopman Hof Railway Station. So grab your ticket gear line. Sheldon will be here as well to have some fun with you all. New loco, new route and the weather. What on earth could possibly go wrong. He's you know what? What? We're actually three minutes early. Are we three minutes early? Yeah, we said we're going to start about seven. It's 18.57. I actually didn't say we were going to start at seven. Not today. Well, I'll just say we did anyway. All oh, right. Do you, think, do you think we would have got um, the videos we should have done today um, sorted, or do you think it would have been... Uh, it would have been close to 9 o'clock. There's no movie on tonight, by the way. We could do some till 9. We could. Anyway, this is a brand new route. It, it certainly is a brand new route. We will get onto that in a moment because it is Sunday. You know what that means? Absolutely. Let's time and play with the new toy. It is. New toy. New toy which is going to need a little bit of explanation, folks. So bear with us. But welcome to Salzburg Hopbahnhof. And the barn strecker, let me just, uh, I'm looking for one button in particular. Before Cap we go. lights? No. I'm looking for that. I should take the mic And go. that. And maybe that. I should have taught the mic there and go, well, we're, we're waiting. waiting. <laughs> um... Yes, no, welcome to Salzburg Hop by the Hof and the Barnstrecker Salzburg Rosenheim. Or Rosenheim, as it's uh Now this is an Austria German border route. It certainly is Austrian uh, German border route. And uh, well, you can just see here, look at the roof here. I'll tell you what, that does look absolutely you can see amazing. What, you can see why I want to take us to Austria for trains now. Some of the stations there are at. Look at this! Look at look at that! We ain't even out there, and uh, that looks gorgeous. I bet it looks even better uh, outside. Now this isn't the locomotive, is it? No. This is what we have got. The loco is on the rear, so we'll do a trains with Sheldon with the loco um, when we come to the route in a couple of weeks' time. Because uh, with it being close to the end, it's on a rotation. See, even he's uh, happy at that, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> that actually looked like he was trying to push one out. <laughs> but no, we'll do a trains with Sheldon with the uh, loco uh, next time. Ooh, double deck. It is. It's the uh, the 766 Doppelwagen. Fourth generation. I should say. So the words really modern. Well, 2013. Uh, ah, this is. Almost modern. It's, it's coming up for 10 years old. The uh, the fourth and um, oh yes. If you hear um, two rather unusual noises uh, <laughs> in the um, in the video, no, Simon hasn't spontaneously combusted. I have to put the safety systems on. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Because certainly for, I would say, the Blackpool branches and certainly the Barn Strecker. Was the Blackpool branches the last route we had? Oh no, it was the Benina line, weren't it? But we did get that. We haven't got that. But certainly for uh, Blackpool branches and the Benina line and this route, if you don't have the safety systems on, there's no chance of platinum medals in your future. They're really anal about this now. They're. They have gotten really, really anal about this. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Splinter. It's actually sphincter, but... Um, 
Not it's almost right. You said splicter. Is splicter even a word? It is now. And why is it a word now, Sheldon? Because I just made it up. You you just made it up, did you? Yeah. Hold on, I gotta. Uh... Um, here we go. Uh... Nice farming there, sure. There, that could be as generic as uh, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take that. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a problem. So, uh, as I said in the introduction, it is a route that uh, does, by the way, this, um, we did get a little history about um, this when I was doing the introduction. This first station we're uh, seeing here, which uh, I can't remember what its uh, name is. Uh, it's Salzburg Subfit River. This was built in 2006. And then the next station, which is Salzburg... So begins with an F. Fr Freiser. Frieselberg or something like, um, something like that. Friedelberg or yeah. Freiburg? No, not Freiburg. It was built in 2013. So a couple of modern stations. A couple of uh, very, and you can tell they're definitely modern with the um, the high fence in there as well. It almost looks reminiscent of there. That's the um, that's the station right there. It's like uh, the station I've been to today, Cotting Lane. Oh yeah, definitely a typical 1980s West Yorkshire style station. Ah, that's it. So Salzburg Leifling. Life Leifling. All right. That's uh, but, that's uh, more modern than the station. There's a brand new station being built, which is 770 yards south of Cottingley. Yes. Called White Rose. Now, is it just being called White Rose, or is it going to be called something else? I think it's just going to be called White Rose. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, I don't like that. It's named after the shopping centre. I know it is, but that that would be like saying, um, oh, what's the name of our shopping centre over in Cannock? I forget what it's called. Oh, it's a god. Oh, MacArthur Glen. Yeah. That's it. That would be like someone renaming Cannock to MacArthur Glen. No! Be an improvement. It, it would be an improvement, absolutely, I agree. But just, just no. It's like Metro Centre. Yes, but... Uh, At least that does sound right. I'm, I'm going to um, bring up a little anomaly now for you. It's actually called Gateshead Metro Centre. The station, not uh, just Metro Centre. But it's not in Gateshead. Well, it just is. Appar apparently it is. It's in Gateshead, but it's just called Metro Centre. Yeah. Apparently it is. I don't know how Geordie Land works, unfortunately. It's like us, we keep saying Newcastle is Newcastle Central. But it is Newcastle Central. But it just is Newcastle. Yeah. It, it just is um, Newcastle. But, um, yes, <clears throat> new station's about 770 yards south. Yes. I have seen it already from the outside because you can't go in yet because uh -huh. it's under construction. Yes. But it has Fallet Parkway vibes. It does have uh, a lot of stations you... Um... Well, no, a lot of stations is the word cookie cutter. But this does have Fallet Parkway vibes. Um, please explique the words cookie cutter. Station be built the same way, you know, like your basic shelters, your basic, you know, like your basic station. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just a cookie cutter station. Okay. Because it's just repeating, like Marsh Barton is a cookie cutter station. Uh, Porkway, Porkway, Portway, Porkway, yeah. Porkway, sir. Portway Park and Rides is a is a cookie cutter station. Okay. Even though it's only one platform, but Marsh Barton's got two platforms. You know, they're just building the stations generic. Yes. Well, they, they're the, just building them uh, very, well, very Well, the term generic. now is cookie cutter, because okay. they're just copying. No problem. So there's Salzburg. Yeah. That's uh, Salzburg all uh, over there. We're waiting for this freight train, which is sneaking up uh, behind us. Nice little um, marshal yard here uh, on the outside of Salzburg. I don't know where we can... Um... Is this the one that opened in 2013? This is the one that opened 2013, <clears throat> yeah. You can see, actually, if uh, we get to go the other side... Um, you can see that. Oh, right, let me go down the other end. I'm not going to lie, that would be a good location, would it? You could actually see. We can't see it, but uh, as you were going past, you could actually see they were still constructing the station. So that tells you when this route was um, thingy. When this route was. Uh, oh, there's there, there's the freight train right there. We're waiting for this here. 
for some reason. Apparently this freight is very important. We're not. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I think uh, right about there. That's yeah. the new loco there, the 111, which I am not looking forward to. Because similarities to the 110. It's the next generation. It's the next generation. This, in fact, I'll be honest with you, that is the successor to the 110. Oh, so it's like the Meridians are the successor to the Voyagers. Yes. Except the Meridians are just better. Yeah. And the Voyagers are just meh. Voyagers are shite. Well, as a Voyager, what did you expect? Pl please tell me what exactly you were expecting when you uh, saw a Voyager. Just to get home. Just to get home? Is that, is that what? Yeah, just to get off this train qu quickly. To be honest, they're not that bad, but... You wouldn't want to stay on one for a while. I'd rather have a HS... Aberdeen <laughs> Benzans! Oh yeah, well, you do that, you got to do it, you got to do it first class. Have you? Be easier. Yeah, good point. Even though somebody I know by the name of Steve Marsh... Yeah? He did it in standard class all the way down. Poor him. Yeah. Poor, poor, poor him. But he did it cheaply because he split ticketed at Berwick upon Tweed. Oh, did he? Yeah. So what he did, Berwick to uh, Aberdeen, Berwick and Berwick Penzance. Yeah. Okay. That, that, that makes uh, that makes sense. Yeah, we're just uh, crawling forward at the moment to the red. There we go. We got the green. Because I think he got it for under uh, hundred quid as well. Oh, nice. Can I have my uh, Dr Pepper? Dr Pepper. What's the worst that can uh, happen? Drive the class one one one. Mm. Or the 110. Take your pick. So yeah, you can see, if you look under the um, board, it says we have to acknowledge the PSB. The PSB demands that we acknowledge it. If we uh, don't acknowledge it, then yeah, as you can, as, as you can hear. You know what it's going to say now? Ah. Acknowledge me. <laughs> it's it's going to be like, Barnstrecker Salzburg Rosenheim. <sighs> And then, it, and then it just stand, it just, it'll just stand there for a few minutes, a few minutes, a few minutes. Acknowledge me! Yeah! Then they just boom afterwards. Exactly, yes. That was uh, really weird on Raw. Because you know uh, Heyman, he sometimes has a phone. Yeah. Call Roman Reigns. Like that phone. He's now got a second phone. For The Rock? Yeah. So he... So on Raw, as Cody was cutting a promo, and literally he was not just cutting a promo, he was absolutely shit-talking. So Paul Heyman was listening, he's like, call Roman Reigns. And then he went into his pocket, pulled out the second phone, and you literally heard the gasps and, call The Rock. <laughs> you you literally heard the gasps of everyone. He was like, oh God, you've messed up now. You have messed up now. So yeah. What we're um... actually before we move on to that, Go does on that on. make the rock now, Paul Heyman guy? Mm hmm. But some would argue um, he already was. If um, Paul Heyman's been a close friend of the Anaway family for a, a long, long time, so some would make uh, that argument. So the rock is <clears throat> a Paul Heyman guy. Exactly. You actually should have seen the family tree he pulled out at the press conference. Impressive. No, we are not talking impressive. We are talking it went right through the whole Annoy family. From the top to the very bottom. As a big family. Oh, it's a massive... You saw names on there that you think to yourself, Jesus, I haven't heard that name for a long bloody time. You, you've got the, your obvious names like your, um, your Seeker, your Fatu, yeah. uh, Yokozuna on there. And then, and then you see... On their Cliff Compton, you're thinking, what? And then, you, and then you remember, was he Superfly? He he's Snooker's he's son. Superfly Snooker's son. Yeah. And you remember that, and you're thinking, geez, yeah, you're right. He is part of the family. I, I, it went through all the Rock side. It went through all Roman Reigns' side. They are cousins. Yeah. So they are definitely cousins. They're on different sides of the family. The family. But they are all... The Anoy family is one massive... I bet Ava was there as well. Yeah, Ava was um, under um, under her father, The Rock. You also had... Um, you didn't just have... Um, 
Rikishi and his sons there. You also had his other son. You had Jacob Fatu there. You had the, the two Samoans that are over in New Japan. Um, who's the one that got released by MLW? Was that Jacob Fatu? Oh, that was Jacob Fatu, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, there's, another, uh, there's another Samoan in the Independence. I can't remember what his name is. He's also on the uh, Roman Reigns side. Lance? Is there a Lance one? Lance Noy? Maybe, but I'm Maybe, not too yeah. sure. But literally, it went through the whole tree, and you were like, whoa. That is one big family. So when Cody Rhodes says wrestling has one royal family... He's lying. That is a royal family. That, that, that isn't just a royal family. That is a family that's like... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's one you don't want to mess yeah, with. You definitely don't want to f with that family. Anyway, next station. Yes, this is... Um, Frieselberg, I think that's how you pronounce it. Fre Freilisberg or something like that. I don't know. Um, and this is the first stop for us on the Salzburg Rogan time. Now I will get on. I will get on to this. Yes. Let me, let me get Sorry on about this. that. Yeah, no, it's actually fine. Um, in the intro, I explained we only had four scenarios. That is because scenario number five, which was actually scenario number two or three on this list was heavily heavily compromised so, oh yeah that's the one where we were having a mode about it yeah because when we saw the uh, scenarios we saw only four scenarios what's going on here and then we delved into the live stream and said no scenario number five it's heavily compromised we've removed it temporarily to fix it because it was causing an absolute game killing crash i'll be honest though it's good they managed to catch that yes it was it was awesome they managed to catch that because let's not take away from this this route actually from what uh, I've seen it does look all right it's not um, it's not a bad route I wouldn't say it's dovetails best by by far but but it's a reasonably okay route I I would say for the price 30 pounds 30 pounds you're not paying for the scenarios this one 30 pounds you're paying for the timetables because literally the timetables you've got on there you've got literally every other German stock that's uh, appeared in a game bar the uh, excuse me the ICEs yeah and they're all in on timetable pass so you've got the 101 in there the 103 the the 628 you've got the 363 the 365 you've got the 185 the 187 the, it, literally the 182 is in there as well literally you've got loads and loads and loads of timetables to go through and soon you have the Tauruses in there soon you'll have the Tauruses as well when we get the uh, the Semmering Barn you got to have the Tauruses in because Salzburg um, Rosenhut Salzburg is Austria that is deep Austrian territory yes that is deep, deep Taurus OBB. yeah that is deep o OBB territory deep Taurus territory is uh, Salzburg Again, what? That's why I want to take you there because I think actually Salzburg is a split point for the um, for the um, OBB. Certainly for the trains which do one does to Zurich, and the other does somewhere else. Oh no, it, it, the Zurich meets up with the one off Munich. Ah. So they then <clears throat> couple them up together, and you get one massive tourist train heading to Vienna. That's uh, that's how it works. See, they do things smart over in um, in Germany and Austria. If in doubt, send um, send two trains to do uh, one job. But I can say, um, literally, we got bought the game at ten o'clock um, on the Tuesday. That's today when we're recording this. And three, four hours later, here comes the patch. And here comes the fifth scenario. So they actually uh, had it fixed. Although there is, there seems to be an issue at the moment with the this um coaching stock at the moment but it's not really a big issue we don't actually know what the issue is ah because some are saying it's one issue some are saying it's another issue some are saying that they're hitting the brakes and it breaks and it breaks and then when you release the brakes to get going again, nothing. Is that on the 111 though? No, no, no. That, that's on the 111 side. But then there's another issue on the the, um, the Doppelwagen stock. 
Yeah. Where you break in. You break in. It's thinking about breaking. It's thinking about breaking. Oh, here come the brakes, here come the brakes, here come the brakes, here come the brakes. Ah, uh, we may stop, we may stop. Oh, yeah, no, we've stopped now. You release the brakes. And the brake of the the white one there, down in the, um, on the HUD, it's the third circle across. The one that you see illuminated in white there. Yeah. And that's saying 29% uh, braking. Well, the brakes are off. Why are you still saying 29% braking? It's like, huh? What? You're telling me I've just taken the brakes off and the brakes are still on. That is strange. That is strange. But it only seems to be happening with some routes. Some uh, some people. Some are playing with it fine. Some are playing with it. I know I had a problem with it when um, I did the uh, introduction just to get to, just to get used to it. With the 111. And now it's in red, is it? Or uh, is that something else? That was in red, yes. The, the 111 is in uh, DB red. No, no, it's on the dial there. Uh, what do you mean on the dial there? We know the oh, oh, what well, you're seeing um, here. No, no, no. What? No, I'm, I'm not talking about uh, oh, right. on the left side. I'm talking at the very bottom here. you got the three circles there. I'm about the one that's in the white, that lit up in the white. So where you see the arrow yeah. that's pointed up, you want that white circle underneath. That was saying 29% breaking. All oh, right. But you weren't breaking. You, you just weren't breaking. So that's strange. No, well, no, sorry, you were breaking. But the brakes were already off. And it was then uh, try to accelerate it. Yeah, not having it. Yeah, not having it, mate. I'll see if they've uh, actually got it. Uh, see if Because they're still talking about it uh, right now. Uh, there he is, dovetail. There we go. Here we go. Myron attached a file. DTG. Uh, ah! Yeah, DTG rated my post. So, uh, obviously, they uh, they acknowledge the, uh, the issue. Um, passenger lights don't work on the... Doppelwagen stock either. Wow. Destination boards don't work. Really? Destination boards don't work. That looks like it works to me. <laughs> Nietzsche. Nicht einsteigen. Nietzsche einsteigen. Yes. Do you know what that means? Not in service. Bingo. Simon Sheldon knows some German. Nietzsche einsteigen. Yes. Nicht einsteigen. Absolutely. Why did that oh, also with the oh, it's not a doppel, it's the Dosto cab six, six, seven six six now. Sorry, I've always known it as the Doppelwagen. I do apologise. You can only release the CIFA pedal by pressing B once the CIFA light shows up on the screen. Usually, you can press B at any time, at given time, so the light never comes on. Oh dear. Uh, first impressions, yet yeah, another route which starts the journey in the training centre. Let me loose on the route itself. Yes! Definitely I would say the 111s are, are nice to handle. In, oh yeah, internal display is definitely broken. Uh, Simon, on this one. Have a look at that internal display. What uh, what's that say to you? 25.07.2.013.1025. Yeah. It's trying to say it's the 20, 25th of July 2013 at 10.25 in the morning and for some reason there's an extra dot that's appeared between the two and the zero. <laughs> it doesn't look more like a... It doesn't look like a date. It looks more like a library code over there. Captain's log 25072013102025. No, no, this is how that would go. Captain's log, start date, 25.07.2.013.10.25. We've travelled here to Austria to try and find some intelligence human beings. So far, we have not found any, but I'm telling you now, we're going to find some. We're going to absolutely find some. We've got to, mister! <laughs> oh, it's not playing. What's it not playing? Hang on. Du hast das vermasset. That was for calling the stock something different earlier. In other words, that's you fucked up in German. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. 
So I was going to put that as my intro now. Are you going to have to put a bleep in there? Du hast das vermasselt. Which part do we bleep? The English. <laughs> you got to bleep the German as well. <laughs> here, here we are swearing in German. He doesn't even know which part the German is. No, I think we can get away with that. You, you honestly think YouTube are going to let us get away with swearing in German? I guarantee you, they won't, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to... Gefickt. <laughs> We're not even going to repeat that word. Uh, we are definitely not repeating that word. Not on this, uh... Not on this channel, that's for sure. But yeah, that's where we, uh, that's we hold. So it looks like there, there's still a few, um, little niggles with the root. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people are saying, good root. Good route. I love when it's the 27th of February of the second year of 013. <laughs> that is exactly what that date there says. So that is exactly what that date says there. Except he said it was the 27th of February, it's the 25th of June, you absolute nana. <laughs> you know what the funny thing was? To Day while I was at Cottingley. Mm -hmm. Well, they got a document to put stuck to the waiting shelter. Oh, yeah. Basically, about the closure. Mm -hmm. It was dated 27th of February 2023. 20, really? And what's today's date? Well, 27th of February 2024. So that document has been up there for one year. Literally a whole year? Yeah. Ah. I hope I said 2023. Yeah, I did. Also, um, while I was uh, busy, because I got a few more um, mastery levels, which we will see uh, throughout uh, throughout the year, you may see some hot air balloons pop up in uh, Cassel. You may see something on the Glossop line. Ooh. Ooh, exactly. Fair dodges. <laughs> Well, it is Manchester after all. Um, Mind you, it did go on the Glossop line today, but only as far as Guy Bridge. Yeah, so only as far off. as uh, Guy Bridge. Uh, Let's go to Bradley replied to the phrase that uh, just gone up. Um, hold on a second. And uh, in this route add ons, there are even working lifts for players to use as they get around. I have checked, and there are no working lifts. <laughs> Out of order. Out of order, exactly. Nishtein Stangen, not in service. <laughs> um, no, what I've also done is I thought, you know what? I'll put um, a couple of screenshots forward for their screenshot contest for this month. And their screenshot contest for uh, this month, sir, is high-speed EMUs. Now, there's not many on trains in the world, let's be honest. Name your high-speed EMU. The ice. Well, there's the ice. Uh, the Azumas. And the Azumas and... The Javelins. The Javelins. I, I don't think there's many more. Oh, probably the, um... The Thingamabob over in Boston. Oh, the, uh... Acelia. The Acelia, yeah. All over there. So, um... Yeah, so... I thought, you know what? I'll give it a go. No problem. So here's some of uh, the competitors. If you win... You get to be on the loading screen... For Trains in World 4. That's good. That's good. Uh, that if what A was going to win, I want it to be that one winning. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, that one. If I don't, I want it to be that one. That that one's good. That one's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. You put some thought into that one. N no, too dark for me. Too dark to. Um, yeah. Uh, he did put it on New York Trenton, which is known for its uh, lighting. Uh, I see what you tried to do there with the sunset. Good, but it's not yeah, good. Yeah, it's good, it's not good. Not not bad. Not bad, but I think a bit basic. Yeah. Personally. That one's not too bad either. I, I will give that one. That I one might is, have a good chance. That might have a good chance. Uh, obviously, Kurzum around the train is said to, well, that's, that's not, a bit basic. Yeah. That's not too bad either, the ice one on the Cologne Arc and route. I think that will be the runner up. I think that will be the runner up too. Um. Is it mine? That's okay. No, that's okay. Yeah, the the 104, the 401. Oh, well, I'm forgetting about the French. 
Oh, Le Français, Le TGV. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Problem is with the TGV route, it's basic. Basic, yeah. Um, I have no idea. There's a the Zuma down there. Oh, oh, I see what he's done. Javelin there, a Zuma there. Oh, good That's man. That's good. But it's a little too dark of the javelin. Yeah, a little too dark of, dark of the javelin. Unfortunately, we can't show you these. Yeah, we can't show you these, unfortunately. I don't think the um, the Aesler has done too bad there. I reckon that will be third. You think that will be third? You haven't seen mine yet. Um, yeah, not too bad. I think a bit dark on the front yeah. uh, with that one. Uh, oh, that one actually might have a chance. Oh, Kurt yeah. Zuber in the snow. That one, yeah, no, that's that's just basic, that one. That's but an some, okay shot, but it's basic. Yeah, sometimes basic wins, but uh, not on this, again, basic. Um, that one's not too bad. If Passengers becomes the next one, I expect this one to uh, contend, definitely. Oh, yeah. That one will uh, contend. Uh, again, basic. Yeah. Again. They, they gave it a good go. They gave it a good try, but uh, oh, you can't even see that one. Nope. No, uh, that one's not for me. Not for me, that one either. Here comes Ian's. No, no, sorry, it's not Ian's. Although, I like that one. That one might have a good chance. That one might have a good chance. Um, what, what is that supposed to be? The no. Azuma, but they did get the... They didn't get the memo. The carriage. They didn't get the memo uh, there, did they? Um, no, not for me. Although, to be fair, he won the last one. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. No, basic. I, I might win. Yeah. I might win. Uh, that's not too bad either. That's not too bad. I see that. Now, look. That's two of the same here. He's gone for a moody evening and a smoggy evening. I think the first one might have been a bit bad. Yeah. So he thought I'd brighten up a little that, bit. That's pretty good, actually. TGV. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, why oh, did there's the winner. There's the winner. There's the winner. Scotsman and the Azuma. There's the winner. That's the winner. Yeah, so it's, someone's uh, cracking off there. you got got uh, your normal stuff. So here, here comes Ian's. Here comes Ian's. With the cows. With the cow, cows and Kurt Zuma. Come, come on, be, be honest. Be honest yeah, with it's me. It's a good contending photo. I'm I'm not going for this as the winner, my winner. The next one's my winner. And that could be potential winner. Could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Could uh, could have potential, but then you. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Then Kurt Zuber, the Scotsman, will win. Yeah, no, Kurt. Z I, as soon as I saw Kurt Zuber and the, I didn't even see Kurt Zuber and the Scotsman. That sounds like a TV show. We'll be right back with Kurt Zuma and the Scotsman right after this. <laughs> followed by an all new Southeastern Javelin. <laughs> what else is going to be followed by? Followed by the Simon Hour with the Dice Cowboy Cheerleaders. We regret to inform you our TV <laughs> channel has now flopped. <laughs> yeah, that. Cancelled. Uh, Cancelled. <laughs> well, you, no. You. <laughs> Go on then. That German word for not in service. Nick <laughs> uh, Flying trees near Rosenheim! We have flying trees! We Wait. have a tornado nearby. No, there they are! Flying trees! What is this? <laughs> timber! Timber! It's going down. I'm yelling timber. Oh dear. Oh, oh yeah! Here comes the uh, here comes the PZB again. PZ the PZB will be my death. I will tell you. How's um how's your hole in your back? By the way. Oh, it's fine. You might have one uh, another hole in your back. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure you have. Wait, do you know what they actually do in America? What? This, this actually, you know the taser guns they have? Oh yeah. They actually put the police through it. What, me the police have to do it? The police have to take a taser shot. Any reason? Just, just so they are aware 
of how much goes through that gun that they've got in their hands. So they've got to do it regardless. They've got to do it. And what they do is they have two other officers with them. They hold the police person there because they have to put the males and the females through it. Yeah. So that... Oh, with their back turned to the gun. With their back to the gun so they don't know it's being fired. They don't know when it's coming. Yeah. And the two uh, police on our side, they've got uh, full protection on, so... Yeah. Nothing happens to them. But it's just so the officer knows what to expect and then when they start to go down whereas a, an offender would just be straight on the floor the two officers are there yeah. to hold her so that I think I might have seen video on that yeah it was um, I saw a video it was a female so basically they hold them just uh... so you had two male officers they were holding the female yeah right and it shows are you ready are you ready and you're like yeah ready three two one you hear the gun firing the taser gun firing and next is this old mighty high-pitched scream you can literally hear the taser uh, thing go in you can hear the yeah and then ah! and she's screaming all the way as the officers put her down on the floor and then um, how was that for you no <laughs> he, I think you don't want any more of that to, to be fair, I wouldn't uh, want no. any, uh, any more any of that. So, uh, Traustein, I think this is, this is where we we're going to terminate. Uh, let me have a look at the Austrian. We don't have a book for Austria. Do we not have a book for Austria? No, we have a book for Germany. We have a book for Germany. Give me the map then. Google map. Google map is our saviour, is our saviour. It is Google maps. Alright, let's have a, a butcher's here. Uh, that's Maxi done with me. Maxi done with me. I am happy to report that Maxi's done with me. <laughs> um, is it Traus? So, what do you think is the next route then? Ah, there it is. Traunstein uh, in Austria. Yeah. Well, sorry. What do you think is the next route that could be going next out? Next route that could be released. It. I think it's going to be. Uh, is this the uh, the same Trostein? I. Uh, I think it is. Or is this a, a different Trostein? Let's have a look. Where's Salzburg? No, that's not uh, the Trostein. Where's Salzburg? That's in Linz. Oh, there it is, Salzburg. I knew where it was. I was testing. You. So, which one do you think's going to come out next? Uh, I think it's going to be close between Goblin Line and Five Circle. So you think it's going to be a British route there? I think it's going to be a British, British route. There's the first station we stopped at, Freilassing. Yeah. Then we stopped at uh, Tysendorf. And next up is there, Traustein. So we are now deep in Germany. Traustein looks like a populated area. It does. Basically, to give you an idea of where exactly we are, we are sort of, I would say, south... Germany. Southwest... Oh, uh, no, southeast of Munich. Rosenheim is southeast... I, I think it's south Rosenheim, I've heard that. And Rosenheim is one of the stations on the uh, Munich to Salzburg route, which goes into Vienna. So, that's why Taurus is... Salzburg is, on the border. Salzburg, yeah. There's Salzburg, right there. Salzburg. So that station we saw, uh, where is it? Right here. I know where it is. I know where you are. Um, I've got to find Salzburg. There's Salzburg Hoppenhof there. Yeah. So Salzburg Mühlen Altstadt, Salzburg Eigenhof. So this is it uh, here. Oh, Salzburg Taxum. That's uh, the station that was bought, done in 2006. We're going to Bergen next. Yes, Bergen. So this here, there it is. Salzburg Leifering. I'll guarantee you that's the border station. That's the border station right there. Looks like it. Because, yeah, look, look. DB. So. DB Freilassing. So Freilassing, yeah. you're in Germany. As soon as you go there, in fact, look. As soon as you go over that river that we saw. The Osterich. That, the, no, 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 that is the border. Osterich is Austria. It's the German for Austria. All right. Osterich. So... Salzburg Life Lifeling is the border station. Oh, speak about Austria. Yes. Did you hear about our truth? <laughs> I 
I got my plane ticket confused. I ended up in Austria. You were supposed to be in Australia. I know I ended up in Austria. He's 50 odd years old and still performing at a high level. Someone give him a, a title now. He needs a major title before he retires. He has to. He's gonna. He's gonna be one of those that uh, definitely does retire. Speaking of, um, when this goes up, we shouldn't be too far from uh, WrestleMania. When's WrestleMania? Third of uh, third of April. Does that sound right? Something like that. No, it can't be seventh no. of April. Seventh of April. Ah. Um, month away. We've heard nothing on uh, Hall of Fame yet. No, we haven't. We heard rumors that Ray Wyatt might go in. Oh, Brett. If they don't, if they don't do what they did with Eddie, then that's a crime. That is an absolute crime. Massive Br crime. Bray Wyatt would have to go in definitely, and we know who's going to um, induct him straight away. I, I guarantee you, I know who will induct him straight away. What? His dad. Yeah. Mike, Mike Rotunda who will uh, will induct him with um, with with Bo, Bo, there. with Bo there, and um, I, I would imagine JoJo will be there too. Yeah. With, with the uh, with the kids, but. Um, yeah, Bray Wyatt would have to um, have to go. Probably not the star name, but I would certainly say probably the at least the undercard name. You know, the second to the, the star the, name. The second to the star name. Yeah, they they need someone big to go in. Um, and the problem, everyone said, "Oh, it's Philadelphia. Put all the ECW guys in there." Well, the problem is, who'd you put in there? Because most of them have already gone in. Sabu's already gone in. Van Dam's already gone in. You're looking at the B players now. What about the Sandman? Sandman could go in, because uh, he was um, from Philly. I don't think they're going to put Shay Douglas in. No. Shay, although, although, if they were really, really true to honouring ECW, Shane Douglas would have to go in. You Early years of ECW, you cannot have ECW without Shane Douglas. No. You cannot have ECW without Shane Douglas. ECW was built around him. <clears throat> he, he was literally the Triple H of his time. Literally, not just a Triple H, uh, the Ric Flair of his time as well. Yeah, he was literally build a company around him. Off you go. Thank you very much. Um, it would be a crime not to put Paul Heyman in, uh, wouldn't it? I will put Paul Heyman as the manager. I would. Yeah, I would say manager. Usually they have a couple of single guys. Yeah, I would. Say, oh, that's right. Oh, uh, landslide! Hit, hit the brakes! Well, We've got to hit the brakes! Where's landslide? Where's landslide? Hit the emergency brake! Allow me to hit the bloody emergency brake, you stupid! Uh. Oh, this bear stopping time, I don't know where the landslide is. Where is it? Oh, there it is! There! So we are going to pull up uh, just in time. Look at that. Oh. That reminds me of uh, the Coventry inc incident the recently. Yeah. Northern the West Coast Mainline, which shut Coventry and rugby down. It did. It did. Where did that come from? I don't know. No, me. That's, that's a weird one. That is a weird one. But that is the end <clears> of the <throat> scenario, folks. It looks like. So we're not going to get to Bergen. So we're going nowhere. We're going nowhere. <laughs> Unfortunately. But you'll see, thanks to the addition of the uh, safety features, we did get the Platinum. If we didn't have the safety features, those 3,000 for uh, the safety features wouldn't be there. We've only got a gold. That speaks volumes to how much safety features now... Uh, but how much they mean in the newer routes that come out. <laughs> oh, yes. So, uh, next Saturday... What is next Saturday? I can't remember what next Saturday is. I really, we've recorded it already, I can't remember. Oh, Horseshoe, is it Horseshoe Curve? I think it's Horseshoe Curve. It's something. Yes, it is, it's Horseshoe Curve because um, Birmingham Cross City is before I go uh, go to Bournemouth. Yeah, that's uh, what it is. So, uh, yeah, we're off now. We're going to have a nice, much needed rest and Sheldon's going to have the last word. Nine! <laughs>